Welcome back to the channel, guys. Darth Sloan here, your partner to content creator for Expansive Worlds. So one of the things that you look at here is these location challenges. Let's look at one, for example, Thin Lip Mullet Location Challenge 1. If it's a 1, then it is a bronze rank or higher. These are usually going to be somewhere like this, where the road just ends at the water. There is usually going to be a boat valet like that and a sign beside of it that'll have catch such and such fish, bronze, gold, silver, whatever. Because I have found some that are not beside boat valets. So just because a road ends at the water doesn't mean that that's where all of these locations are. It's where most of them are. That's where you want to look. But there's going to be a handful out there that are at little isolated lakes. And we're going to try to find all of those. That way, in the end, if you're missing one or two challenges, you're going to know where they're at. When you get to the silvers and the goads, make sure that you do the appropriate challenge with it at least i mean you don't have to do this but this is a time efficient way to do it like for example if we find a gold now these only go silver and and gold for example if it's challenge two then it's a gold if it's challenge one then it's a silver but these are gear challenges and so if i am ready to catch me a gold rank brown trout for example i want to make sure that i use a 2.2 pound line or less and I can knock out two missions with one. In this case, I can actually knock out three missions with one because with Lucia's day, I need to catch a gold rank fish or higher with the Lucia rod. Okay, so I need to make sure that when I, one of the best ways to find a gold is to go one of those, as we go and find one at these location challenges, for example, we have us a guaranteed gold there we can use the right gear and we can catch that, lo you know, that location or uh, go for the Lucia rod. So we'll knock those three out. Same thing with the reel. When you get to the reel, uh, the Tama Tito, all that stuff. When you get to these where you have to catch a fish with them, use your location challenges, guys. Before we hop into it, though, if you would, please hit that like, subscribe, notify bell. Help us grow the channel, guys, so that I can keep putting these videos out. As long as I know they're being watched and, and not just sitting there collecting dust, I will continue to make them uh, to help out the community. We are all in this together. Make sure to join that official Discord in uh, the Angler Call of the Wild and also in my Discord. A lot of helpful things in there, hook charts, things like that. So without further ado, let's hop into our first challenge. All right, guys, we're going to go to this trailhead, Megas de Picatoste. I, you know, I'm, I cannot. I'm just going to start mousing over and letting you all guess the pronunciation. And a lot of times when you hear that music, pick it up. All right, here's the sign. This is the way this works. Camizo Barbell Challenge 1. Okay, so we pick it up. It puts it right here. Bronze rank or higher. Well, the gear ones only go silver and gold, so we don't have to worry about doing anything there. So we will pick us out another one, which is going to be right here. Another thing to pick up right there. Pop over the bank here. Right, we are at the Tench Location Challenge 3. This is a goad. And we're going to go up here, close to where this guy's fishing. Looks like there might be two valets over on this side. We'll go up here and see what they are. It doesn't look like there's one here. Oh yeah, there is. Right there it is. Blind. I even put my marker right on it. Okay, Crucian Carp Location Challenge 1. So this is going to be a bronze. We're just going to go find them first because we can track them and come back to them later. I'll try to record all the spots. This spot, let's see. Here's the Xander location. Take that. Catch a bronze rank or higher Xander. And as you can see again, map. But any place where the road ends at the water, if you go there. Yeah, if you go any place where the road ends at the water, here's red location challenge one. As we are at the next location here, we have the Largemouth Bass Location Challenge 1. So that'll be bronze, and here, 
here, right here next to the Pearl Hill, the Curva de la Cruz. We're down here in the south. We're right next to the Southern Outpost, Xander Location Challenge 3. So there is, right here, Xander Location Challenge 3. We have ourselves Largemouth Bass Location Challenge 3. That up. See, that's going to be a gold rank or higher largemouth bass. But look where we are. So no boat valet. But I noticed that they did put like a little trail here. And it ends right here. Right? So just look around when you get to these little secluded places. If you see a jetty or a little dock, walk over to it. There will probably be a sign. All right, guys. We are right here next to the Carita Terra de Pedra. Let's see the shape of the... Lake. We're just above the southern outpost. We have picked up the brown trout location challenge three go drink or higher brown trout. Now I will let you guys know I've been seeing six pound brown trout goats caught so they are way smaller over here. This is a little bit of a hike and you can only uh, drive your vehicle over to the river and then you got to go across a bridge down here but the road ends right here you can see again that's where you want to look is where do those roads end those are the easy ones this is xander challenge location two silver rank or higher so there will be some gear to do with that remember the challenge twos and the challenge threes to always look at the gear that goes with it we have camiso barbell location challenge three um so we look here on the map and there is still on us to the east of Agos Claris. All right, guys, we are directly south of Agos Claris. This boat valet, good tent spot. A thin lip mullet location challenge two. So that is a silver. There will be some gear that goes along with that. To the, directly to the east of Agos Claris. Let's go knock it out real quick. Some of that music, so here, boat valet, and we've got thick lip mullet location, and we've got a little thing to pick up over there too. All right, guys, we have fast traveled in here. Got us. A Thing to pick up. We're right here at the Baca, Baca do Milaguino. <laughs> Got us a boat valet and we have ourselves a thick lit mullet location challenge too. Okay, it does look like we do have a fishing location here next to this structure. We're on the map here, right here. I didn't see anything over here. Let's see what we've got here. Andalusian Barbell location two. So that's gonna be a silver and there's gonna be gear that goes along, the gear challenge that goes along with that one. We are at one of my favorite locations, one of my favorite boat valets actually. I like to go over here. This is a very common um, or very popular common carp spot right here in this little area right here. Some people fast travel wind fish off the bank or whatever, but I like to get in a boat here and and come over in this area and fish but we are about to see what fishing challenge is here at this boat valet and it is a european eel location challenge one we are a little east of where we just were here now we over to the sandero del lagarto there is a little item here to pick up Roach location challenge one. We are here on the map, a bit east of where we were. Boat valet and European eel location challenge three. So here's a nice place to get you a go to eel, guys. Okay, I love the Jeep and I love that the terrain that you can hit some of these trees and just drive right through them. So here we are, Mirror Carp Location Challenge 1. Fast traveled in here to Ala de Cernicalo. We're, we're getting kind of up in the northern part of the map now. Let's go see. Hear that music? So we've got something. 
All right, let's go see what what fish we have. Here is a mirror carp challenge three. So a goat mirror carp. Very nice, very nice. Let's go see this close one here while we're recording. That won't take long to walk over to. Oh yes, of course, a painting thing outside. Common carp location challenge three, goad carp, guys. Now I will tell you on this one, for me at least, again, we're right here. Boca do de Borachulio. This will be a very popular mission for people. Uh, and I'll go ahead and tell you what happened with me. I stood out here and I cast all over the place. Never could get him to come. There's an eel. And I cast, I short casted right here and he just came right on out there and bit it. We are here on the map. Mino de la Cabra. Right here. We have Andalusian Barbell Location Challenge 1. That will be a bronze. Just catch it with whatever you want. Here. Roach Location Challenge 2. We're on the map. We are west of that outpost and west of that railhead. Let's see what we have here. Northern Pike Location Challenge 1. Let's see where we are on the map. Go a little off road to get over here, but that road ended right there. Check those out. And fast travel in here. Pick that up. We have ourselves Brown Trout Location Challenge 1. Fast travel. Now we're just going to fast travel back and go up to this one. Northern Pike Location Challenge 1. Okay, we fast traveled in here to Cuerno de Toro. We have Mirror Carp Location Challenge 2. I'm pretty sure this is an Andalusian. Barbell, I barbell, I believe, or one of these is. But let's go find out. Andalusian Barbell Location Challenge 3. So this is a goad location. So you definitely want to change your gear to make sure that you get credit for that. It's also going to be one here. All right, we got European Eel Location Challenge 2. river a little bit our next challenge is the camizo barbell challenge and it is actually the one that's in the cave that you can fast travel to once you get that location unlocked you just go in here as you can see i've already picked it up and right here good eel location too but this is for the challenge the camizo barbell challenge too all right the brown trout location challenge too that's going to be a silver challenge so it is going to have gear attached to it as well. I'm not gonna go here because it is off the beaten path. Uh, the best way would probably be right here and either try to go over the mountain over to here or around this road and up this way. We are at the Common Carp Location Challenge 1. You can see here, they're all beside some type of structure. You know, there's a, I mean, sometimes it might be a concrete pier, but some type of wooden little pier jetty thing. They're always like at the base of it. So we are right here. This one's a little bit off the beaten path. Not too bad. You can fast travel there to Camino de la Cabra and just go up this. It's a little rough road. You have to cross a bridge right there. But that will get you right here on this side. You got to go around over here on this side. But that is the common cart location challenge one. All right. We'll show the map on this one as well. We have... The common carp location challenge two and it is around on this side of the lake right here 
This one is not bad at all, as you can see on the map. It is right above Ala de Cernicalo. <laughs> I'm so sorry for all you Spanish people out there. That I know I'm butchering these pronunciations. So you just walk up and this is the Crucian Carp Location Challenge 2. While we are here, the Crucian Carp Location Challenge 3, which is the Goad Challenge, is right here where my marker is. It's right north of us right here. So you can go hop in your vehicle. It's off the beaten path a little. Okay, guys, the Largemouth Bass Location Challenge 2. It is a pretty good ways off the beaten path. The closest trail, a trailhead that I can find to it is probably this one. But fast travel into that trailhead, summon a vehicle, come all the way up to here, and then turn right. This one's a pretty good haul, too, and it was a little tricky. It was one of the last ones that I found because it's not really at the end of a road one of those little red lines you know that's how we found a lot of them and it was this one's this one i had to kind of look for this is the northern pike location challenge two and it is right there the pumpkin seed challenge one right here at pata pata flamenco uh fast travel here to this trailhead hoof it or test your jeep out going up this mountain here Right here, guys, is Pumpkin Seed Challenge 2. Probably fast travel here, summon a vehicle, and just try to drive your Jeep to there. It is on this side of the lake. And then Pumpkin Seed uh, Challenge 3 for the Goad is way down here. Right here. So right behind Central Hydroelectrica, we are at the red location challenge two and that's number 35 on my map as well it's right up above the that trailhead and there's actually a little line here that kind of tipped it off for me and that's number 35 on the map i will include that map in the as a matter of fact while i'm thinking about it all right, here is the map, and I'm I'm not through recording the locations yet, but as I go, I should have been calling these locations off. But as you can see there, it, it, you know, number 35, Red Location Challenge 2. This is how I'm able to do this. Uh, as I started making this video, I realized I couldn't remember where I'd been, where I hadn't from the ones that I'd already picked up from the sign and the ones that I had already completed the challenge of because it won't track them once you've already completed the challenge. And I was like, how am I gonna make the video? So I went back and did some research and I made a map. This way I knew, you know, if I got to one that I'd already been to, then I could just look at my map and find it. And then I said, well, that'll be a valuable resource to the community as well. So there's the map. It is color coded, uh, gold, silver, bronze. Just look at which one you need if, if you're missing one or two. And right there they are. And, and to pay me back for this hard work, all I'm asking is that you like the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't hit that notify bell. You know, that helps me. That helps me. So completely free to subscribe. So that's one way that you can help me and uh, did take a lot of time and effort to put that map in there. So let's hop back into it. We are here at uh, the infamous goad roach location Nino de Arizio Rizio. so uh, fast travel there grab up here and this was a tough one to find because there's really not anything here to kind of tell you anyway there we go roach location challenge three all right, this is the red location challenge three. So this is the gold red, and this may be the easiest one to get to in the game. You can fast travel right here. No need, no need to even summon a vehicle. You're literally a hundred feet from it. You just fast travel to this point of interest right here. That's all you have to do. And it's right here, right there. See the sign over there? You walk over there and you get it. That is red location challenge three. So Tinch Location Challenge 1 is right here on the map. Down below that <laughs> trailhead. 
it is right here. Tench two is right here above it at this lake. This little lake here is Tench two. You can fast travel to that one if you want, or that one, they're both about the same distance. And Tench three, number 39 on your map is right here, not bad at all. You just fast travel right here, right there it is. So that is all the Tench locations. And that leaves us with three more. Our number 42 on your map is going to be the Thick Lip Mullet Location Challenge 3. The old Thick Lip Goad Challenge. You're going to fast travel to this point of interest right here and just walk down here. It's not a bad walk. You can see there's some type of power plant here. Keep walking down to the other end of it. You see the jetty now. And there's the sign. So that is your Goad Thick Lip Mullet Challenge location right there. See us right here where we're at. There's actually a boat ballet right there too. All right, the Thin Lip Mullet Location Challenge 1. Thin Lip 1. That is number 43 on your map. And we are right here is where it's at. So you can just fast travel real close to it right here. Little to fish out there on the end of that little pier, and right there is the sign at the beginning of it. I've already picked it up. The Thin Lip Mullet Location Challenge 3 that is number 45 gold colored on your map, right here. So it's a little bit off the beaten path, but it's right here by this boat valet. You can also catch a diamond pumpkin seed right there. This is one of the ways you can get into the cave if you've never been and gotten the fast travel location to the cave. You can go here, walk down here, summon a boat, and go through a little hole in the wall right there. But the best way to get here, fast travel here, just walk down. And I'll just go ahead and tell you what time uh, we're talking about it here. Um, I used a number eight minnow and got that thin lip. I cast right along the bank, right down this way. So I dropped down to a a size eight minnow and here come the goad right after it so maybe that works for you as well but that is all the locations guys i appreciate each and every one of you again we'll throw that map up one more time leave that up for you there in case you didn't screenshot it or whatever but join my discord it's in there as well it's also floating around in the official angler discord and on facebook i've seen it floating around in different places just share away guys use it use it to help you that's what it's there for. But I really appreciate it. Drop that like, subscribe, notify bell. Catch us over on YouTube, Tackle Tuesdays with Scarecrow and Bro Bra and Big Rig and all, all of our friends over there on Tackle Tuesdays. I am live on YouTube at 8 p.m. Eastern Time and 9 p.m. is when the competition officially starts. And that is all Eastern Time. So check that out on youtube the rest of my streams right now are on twitch darth underscore sloan usually somewhere around 4 35 p.m in the eastern time so i appreciate you and we will catch you in the next video